One of the hardest things to address when you're working from home is the work-life balance. And more specifically, I'm talking about the always on seven days a week kind of thing. Essentially, most work environments give you a five day, maybe six maximum kind of window in which you work and you always get a weekend. And the weekend is important because it allows you to have a little bit of downtime, recharge, rethink and tackle work again. When you're at home, and you're not used to it, you never really get away from your work environment. And the temptation is at the back of your mind constantly to think about work in different sort of ways, different things, so you never really switch off. And this bleeds into the five day environment, which becomes six, which becomes seven, which then just makes each day to be exactly the same as the other. We've mentioned before how important it is to create structure to your day. It is also important to create structure to your week. So do have a weekend, make a point of simply not checking work when you are at home on the weekend, make sure that you don't actually actively do anything which is work related. And I know this will actually take a little bit of effort because the temptation is there. Uh, do different things, you know, perhaps have a, a, a binge on, on Netflix, play games all day if you're a gamer, you don't have other things to do which are more important read a book, listen to music, simply do weekend things. You will then find that you start the week, Monday uh, and onwards in a much more relaxed, much more energetic way. And that will help improve your productivity. But more important than that, it will make you feel better about yourself and it will make you feel better about working from home. I hope this helps.